So I've prepped my pots and they're ready on the stove. I'll be using three. I have beefsteak tomatoes from the garden ready to go, but I do think Roma work best for canning as they hold their shape better and they're low moisture, which is great for making sauces. So to prep the tomato, we are going to give it a really good wash. And then using a knife, you just want to score it with an X, which will help the skin peel once we blanch it. So to prep for blanching, we're going to get a large bowl of cold water and we're gonna add some ice cubes and we're gonna get a tall pot of water on the stove and boiling. In goes the tomatoes and we're going to blanch it anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on the ripeness and the size of tomatoes until it starts to peel. You just wanna pay attention to the skins. Once they crack or start to get wrinkly, you take them out. So when they're ready, straight into the ice cold water to stop the cooking process and to start cooling them down so we can peel them. And we're gonna blanch them in batches so the pot isn't overly crowded. So next you're going to strain off the cold water and grabbing your tomato, start to peel off the skin. At this point it should come off easily. And then grabbing a knife, you want to core the tomatoes. And if you've missed any spots, continue to take off the skin. And then you're just going to repeat the process with all the tomatoes and the batches that you've done until all of them are skinless and ready to be canned. Back at the stove, I have the canner over low heat to slowly warm up the water. Preheating will help it go faster when processing the jars. And it's great to preheat the jars before filling with tomatoes so that the glass doesn't go from cold to hot, causing it to crack or break during the process. In a smaller pot over medium heat, we don't want the water to be boiling. We're gonna put in our lids and rims to preheat for uh, when we seal our cans. We want the rubber to be a little bit malleable so it helps to stick better to our jars. So now grabbing our heated jars, we need to add some extra acidity to it. So we are going to use bottled lemon juice from the store and we're gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice per pint jar. You can also use citric acid, which you'll find in the canning section of any store. And then you wanna just start adding in your tomatoes. It can get a bit messy as you want to pack in the tomatoes and try and get rid of any air pockets. Using a knife or a spoon, you want to um, just sort of move it around the jar and get rid of any little air bubbles that you see along the sides. As you're packing in the tomatoes, you want to leave about a half inch of headspace at the top of the jar so that when you are processing the jars, they vacuum seal correctly. Grabbing a paper towel uh, dipped in white vinegar, I'm gonna clean the rim of the jars, removing any tomato residue so that it properly seals, as well as cleaning around the sides. Then, gonna add the lid and the rims and twist until they're finger tight. So, moving back to the stove, I'm going to lower my rack of tomato jars into the water, making sure it's completely submerged. And they're going to process for an hour and 25 minutes. 
Once they're done, I'm going to pull the rack out of the water and place them on a counter over a towel so that they can cool down. Once they're cooled down, you can remove the bands, write the date, and store them for up to a year. Hungry for more? Check out the videos above or head over to my channel for more great recipes. And until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen.